The poses themselves have a, there's a bit of resistance uh, training aspects because you're, you know, using muscles in, in agonist and um, antagonist contractions. You're also able to um, test balance because a lot of the poses require balance and can improve balance. Um, and then you're doing a lot of stretching too, which can help as uh, if, if you have stiffness or slowness, it can really help um, with those sorts of things. And because Parkinson's is such a asymmetric disease classically, so patients will get stiff and slow on one side of the body first and then develop stiffness and slowness on the other. This sort of ability to tap into your body, to think about how you're moving and focus movement in a very um, sort of uh, thoughtful way, in my opinion, um, in a systematic way where you might um, be told, you know, stretch this way, now stretch the opposite way, and you're going through slow stretches. It's a smart way to kind of start to move the body where I think it actually, if done right with the right type of teacher, can actually avoid injury versus, you know, just jumping on a treadmill or jumping on a, on a bike or something like that where you, you may, um, if you have asymmetry, you can really possibly injure yourself.